Okay, so we're going to hear from some amazing SCDers, uh, graduates of these programs, people who have seized the day and moved from theory to practice in lightning speed. We've asked them to say a few words about what they do now and the learning opportunities afforded by the center's programs. And first is Chris Diplock. He received his certificate in community economic development from SFU. Chris is a leader in Vancouver's collaborative economy, founder of the Vancouver Tool Library, and lead researcher with the Sharing Project. Chris is working with organizations in Vancouver to help develop the local economy. Please welcome Chris Diplock. Hey everybody, uh, thanks so much. I um, want to start off by uh, yeah, just saying how great it was to go through the CED program uh, with SFU. Um, I was a student for a couple years with the UBC uh, economics program and that really didn't suit me so I uh, dropped out and I found a really great home with um, the CED uh, program at SFU. So um, I remember the first, the first day of class we came in and we were learning about community development and, and connections and engaging community. And they talked about this book called uh, We Make the Road by Walking. And I was so excited with the content. I went home and I, I uh, took it out from the library. And I had it for so long out from the library. I actually still have the library book at home. Uh, I own it. Um, and uh, it's, you know, I think that's the kind of just speaks to the, pa the passion and excitement that I felt when I came into this program. I took the tool library concept, it kind of happened at the same time as I was getting into the program. So really fortunate to work with some of the great mentors the program offered. Uh, Melanie Kahn's here tonight, and I, I really have to say thanks so much. Um, there's, a, you know, there's a reason the Vancouver Tool Library was able to become a, a cooperative. Uh, you know, me and Melanie spent some time working through rules, and for those of you that have worked through uh, long rules, you know it's, uh, it's, it's no fun. Um, so, so that was a, kind of a part of the program that helped me uh, start the initiative of the tool library. And then just all the other resources that the program offered, I think really giving you confidence and helping me find meaning in um, an opportunity in how to work with and engage with community. Um, and that's helped me, you know, in how I've interacted with a number of projects and, and I think leads, or le uh, yeah, leads to the success of the sharing project that we've seen over the past uh, several months. So that's been my experience, and thanks to everyone that's been a part of uh, what I've done at CED and supported the initiatives that I've, uh, I've done in the city over the past couple years. So thanks. Uh, OK, so we're going to introduce the next uh, speaker. And there was a time not long ago when the idea of urban farming was kind of impossible and kind of crazy even. But our next storyteller is leading the change. Sean Dory is the co-director and founder of Soul Food Street Farms, a social enterprise that provides jobs and agricultural training for people in the downtown east side of Vancouver. Uh, he's also a founding member of the Young Agrarians, an initiative to recruit, promote, and support young farmers in Canada. Sean is a graduate of the Sustainable Community Development Program at SFU and a member of the National Farmers Union. Please welcome Sean Dory. Hello. Just a note to the organizers, you should never ask somebody to speak at 9 p.m. when they serve beer. Just, I've been supporting the local economy. Anyway, so I run a little project called uh, Soul Food Farm, which is uh, now four and a half acres uh, across Vancouver that uh, trains and employs downtown Eastside residents in agriculture. Um, we service the farmer's markets and about 37 restaurants that you guys all probably frequent. Uh, it's been a wonderful project to be a part of and, you know, pretty much a dream job. Uh, that dream job came up about actually almost directly in relation to my time um, in the Sustainable uh, Community Development Program. Um, and most of my teachers in that program would probably know that I'm not a very good student not a really big fan of writing papers. Uh, but what they, what they did give me was uh, relationships. Relationships that still stay with me today. Um, and I can talk about a couple right now. 
uh, as a direct relation to one of the classes that I took in that program, I got to meet Brian Smith, who at the time was uh, one of the managers at Building Opportunities with Business, and I met Toby Berzal, who is part of the Strathcona Business Improvement Association and runs Eclipse Awards. And because of those two relationships, the project that became my dream job is now a reality. Now, for somebody who could barely make it through a class, those kind of relationships are really important because if you have drive and you can see how those relationships work through your career, you can really make change. And I think one of the things that this program provides is, is a way for you to see how it relates to what you do. And, and that was way more valuable than any class I had taken. Now, admittedly, I had only been a theater school major before that, so this was pretty new to me. Um, the other thing that SFU did for me was create a long lens. So usually when you take a class, you get information, and you have to write a paper, and you hand that in. But what SFU provided was, here are the decisions that have been made in our community over time, and here's how they have impacted you now. So we made these decisions in the 70s or the 80s, and this is how it played out in our community now, which gave me a new view on the, not only the way that I work in my life, but the way that I live in my life, because now I can see my career as something that maybe these food policy decisions that we're making now, and maybe this small little project called Soul Food that's you know, growing a few vegetables on a couple lots, how that's gonna play out over time, and it makes my work much more meaningful than what it would be if I didn't have that lens that SFU provided. Um, yeah, so just uh, in hindsight, when they asked me to speak, I hadn't realized really how much it had meant to my career and, and my life moving forward, but it, it meant a lot, so thank you. Um, thank you to the Sustainable Community uh, Development Program, and uh, yeah, thanks. Thank you, Sean. Now, Loretta Lorin, our next storyteller, is also an alumni of the program. Loretta Lorin is one of the original founders of Shift Delivery Co-op, a social enterprise that was born out of the SCD program in 2010 and launched in 2011. Shift is a worker cooperative that is replacing truck deliveries in downtown Vancouver with low-impact cargo tricycles. Loretta was on the board of directors. All right, Loretta. So uh, I went to SFU right after I got out of high school on a scholarship, and I was just going to university for the sake of learning. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was taking random programs, and someone told me, or lots of people were telling me, you need to focus. You need to figure out what you're doing. Um, so I thought, okay, maybe I'll try some certificates uh, that'll give me a little bit of focus. And so, I, of course, I found the SCD program, and I thought, yes, this is awesome. I'm going to do this, because I was a big activist at the time, and it seemed right up my alley. Um, um, and when I jumped into it, I had no expectations for what it was going to be, and taking that program was one of the best decisions of my life. Um, in uh, SCD 402, as most of you know, we had to write a business plan for social enterprise. Um, so we got together around different topics, and I actually chose my group not based on the topic, but based on the people, because in my experience, it is the people that make the difference for what you're doing. Um, so we had this general topic around cycling, green transportation. I thought, okay, that's great. I, um, I, was, I love cycling, and I was planning after I graduated to do a bike tour across Canada. Um, and the reason for that was because I I didn't really know what I was doing, and I, I had the sense that maybe I'll find home that way. Maybe I'll find myself by doing this bike tour. Um, so we launched into this project, lots of discussions over beer, and we decided, wow, this is actually really awesome. We're going to replace truck deliveries downtown with cargo tricycles and do it as a worker cooperative. Um, and of course, we aced the project. And after that class ended, for the first time in my university, university career, um, I started hanging out with people who I met in classes after the class had ended. Um, and this is really new for me and I think really speaks to the power of a program that's based in community. Um, so that summer we hung out lots, did lots of biking, and one of my projects um, co-workers said to me, you know, like, Loretta, do you want to do this? So I, uh, yeah, sure, why not? So the next day I picked up the phones, just started calling people, and I got our very first client on board with us before we even had our first tricycle, before we even knew we were going to launch this business. 
Um, so in uh, the last year of our undergrad, we worked through incorporation and we all graduated in 2011 in the summer and launched our first, uh, launched operations in August. Um, so, um, and SCD really set us up for success. Um, our entire uh, startup funding was um, funded through grants, and so we became really awesome grant writers. And having um, a project that really took in this wide perspective, covering all our bases financially, socially, and environmentally, we became such the perfect candidate, candidate for grant funding. Um, so somehow, without any business experience, without taking any business classes except for what we did in SCD, the three of us launched a social enterprise that is still going strong today. We have 10 people um, employed and one regular contractor. And in our first two years, uh, we replaced 26,000 kilometers of truck deliveries and uh, prevented 20,000 kilograms of CO2 from entering the atmosphere. <laughs> Um, so, of course, uh, because I was busy launching and running this business, I never made that bike tour across Canada. And the thing is, you know what, I don't actually need to anymore because I found home and I found community through this project and through doing this. Um, and it's one of my biggest lessons is that um, it's not what you do, but how you do it. And when you use holistic perspectives, like we're giving an SCD, really looking at all pieces of something, um, it's through this that we can really build resilient communities. And it is this, it's community that, it's community that fuels us and that enlivens us as human beings. Um, and the upper center of Shift's vision is to, um, to build community resilience by shifting the way business is done. And SCD set that up not just for this project, but for every project I will continue to do for the rest of my life. So, thank you. Thank you so much. That was truly inspiring. Thank you to all our storytellers for their amazing contributions to, to create more sustainable communities. Let's give it up for those three.